All right, welcome to dot point PS 18. And this dot point's about evaluating ways which the product can be value added. So first of all, um, we should talk about what value adding is. Um, it's basically providing an improved product or service that consumers are willing to pay more money for. And this is usually done to the raw product. So once the animal's been slaughtered or in, if in the case of um, plants, that the plant's been harvested, anything that occurs to it after that, which makes consumers willing to pay more for it is value adding. So <clears throat> value adding is very important in agriculture. It helps increase the profit margin that farms and other businesses along the supply chain make. Um, basically in Australia, we produce $50 billion of raw products from farms each year. And that's the money that farmers get paid, 50 billion. Um, but the total economic activity from all agricultural products by the time they're consumed by consumers is over $155 billion. So you can see there that over $100 billion is being added in value adding and people are willing to pay more for different things that occur along the process and so the reason um, why people pay more or want to pay more is because they desire or they value the resulting product more than the raw product and are willing to pay more for it so examples here are sausages or kebabs and clearly um, in this case people um, you know they see those products and they're willing to pay more for them because they like them they're tastier they're more convenient they're easier rather than just buying um, a, a packet of mints or um, a whole cut of beef um, they actually buy these things ready to go and it's much quicker and more convenient for them and that's why people are willing to pay more for it um, so in terms of value adding examples we've got here are kebabs marinade sausages vacuum packing vacuum packing um, pre-made meals um, pre-cooked mints um, crumbed things um, schnitzels and stuff like that so i've given two examples here which i've researched um, so sausages are basically lower quality off-cut pieces of meat similar to mince um, is combined with spices starch filler breadcrumbs and put into a casing and so an example is that sausages can sell for around 20 dollars a kilo whereas mince which is the kind of type of quality of beef that goes into the sausages is basically 10 to 12 dollars a kilo um, and they add some spices and other things um, and they can add at least eight dollars a kilo or more um, from those things and those spices and um, starch filler and breadcrumbs cost even less than the beef so they're making quite a bit more just by making it nicer and more convenient and so it's an effective way of getting people to like um, lower quality cuts of meat and they're willing to pay more for the flavor and the convenience of cooking without preparation the example here of marinade so i looked on the uh, woolies online shop and saw um, marinated beef so thai style beef strips and it's got thai marinade on the beef um, in the packet that you bite in and so marinades added to the beef stir fry strips it increases the price paid as consumers don't need to also buy marinade and then marinate the product <clears throat> so normally beef stir fry strips without marinade are 15 dollars a kilo and marinade really only costs like five or so dollars a kilo roughly but when you combine them they're actually being sold for 20 dollars a kilo so that marinade even is being sold for 20 dollars a kilo and the 15 dollar beef is also being sold for $20 a kilo so they're making quite a bit extra money on that that's value adding because the consumer is willing to pay at least $5 a kilo more just for the convenience and not having to go out and buy the marinade put it with the beef and um, have to waste the time doing that past HC questions so um, what's which of the following is an example of value adding so selling wine made on the farm um, pigs directly to the supermarket wheat through growers cooperative and beef cattle through an internet auction all these bottom three are raw products, but wine has been had something done to it because obviously the raw product is grapes and it's had something done to make it into wine. So that's um, the only example there of value adding. Um, now here I've given, it says describe ways in which the product can be value added. And so I've given two ways and then I've talked about in the middle here um, how what value adding means. So uh, this is just a thorough example here. Um, and I've actually done this in a way that it kind of covers a describe and also an explain. So this is a six mark question. I've got two examples there. Um, and I've also said here on this four mark question, see previous question. So you could just basically use something like this for the four mark question. And also for this 2017 six mark question, explain how it can be value added. Um, again, you could basically use this question, this answer here, because I've, I've basically explained what, ha what is happening in here. Um, so yeah, you should get full marks using that response in both of those. This one here is another question like before, um, which of the following is an example of value added product? Eggs is raw, raw milk is obviously raw, diced beef has had something done to it, it's been diced. And then wine grapes, they haven't been made into wine yet, they're wine grapes, so nothing's been done with it. 
makes it a bit tricky, but diced beef has been diced. So that is the example there of value adding. And that is how to answer those questions.